Battery charger ICs help power our daily lives. This video will provide insight on the nuances of charger systems, how to select the right battery charger IC for your applications, and critical safety considerations. The right charger topology for the design can be determined based on the application parameters. For a single cell battery pack with a 5 volt input and a charge current below or equal to 500 milliamps, choose a linear charger. In general, single cell battery packs have a maximum voltage between 4.2 volts and 4.5 volts. Depending on the system's design and thermal performance, a linear charger may have a maximum current that is above or below the expected value. If the charge current exceeds 500 milliamps, it is recommended to use a switching charger. Switching chargers are also recommended for USB applications, which generally have voltages equal to or exceeding 5 volts. There are three switching charger topologies to choose from based on the input voltage and the maximum battery voltage. If VIN is below the maximum VBAT, choose a boost charger. If VIN is greater than or equal to VBAT, choose a buck charger. If VIN may be greater than, less than, or equal to VBAT, choose a buck boost charger. Next, let's dive into battery pack cell configurations. Charger can be broadly categorized for single cell or multiple cell batteries. For battery configurations, there are single cell chargers and multiple cell chargers. These values correspond to the number of cells physically placed in series inside of the battery pack, as well as the charger's output voltage range. Single cell batteries, with their lower power output, are often found in compact devices like phones and headphones. In contrast, multiple cell batteries power larger devices, offering significantly more charge. The input voltage range is a critical factor influenced heavily by USB standards. Most consumer electronics are powered from USB ports, which must support 5 volts at minimum. As the USB standard has evolved to the new USB Type-C connector supporting USB power delivery, also called USB PD, the maximum allowed voltage has increased up to 20 volts. This value can increase to 48 volts with USB PD extended power range specifications. For devices needing less than 15 watts, a standard USB Type-C port is sufficient. If the total power needed exceeds 15 watts, then a solution with a higher input voltage and USB PD must be employed when using a USB connector. Designers should consider how the charge current relates to charger topology selection. For currents up to 500 milliamps, a linear charger is the go-to, thanks to its reduced cost and size. For anything more robust, a switching charger is the answer, reducing power loss and boosting efficiency. Power Path Management, or PPM, adjusts the battery charge current based on the input source current capabilities and the system load current requirement. PPM helps the system microcontroller or system on chip receive sufficient power while using any excess current to charge the battery. There are a few power path options, simple chargers without a power path, also called direct battery supply, OR selection power path, also referred to as bypass mode, or narrow voltage DC power path management. For simple chargers without a power path, the battery is connected directly to the system, and the charger IC only has one output, which is the battery. In this scenario, the battery must be charged to reach the minimum system voltage before the product can power on. This can take extra time when the battery is deeply discharged, which can result in a suboptimal user experience in applications where the product can be used while charging. The advantages of a simple charger without a power path are its simplicity and lower BOM costs. One example of a simple charger is the MP26029, a single-cell lithium-ion or lithium-polymer battery charger IC with thermal regulation. The on-chip charging MOSFET works as a fully featured linear charger with pre-charge, constant current charge, constant voltage charge, charge termination, and auto recharge. With OR selection power path management, external switches manage the battery charging and system paths. This method optimizes energy storage capacity and provides protections in the event of a battery failure. OR selection power path management follows two basic principles. First, when an input voltage is present, that input voltage is connected directly to the system. Second, when VIN is absent, VBAT is connected directly to the system. The MP2759 is an example of a lithium ion, lithium polymer battery charger with OR selection power path management that can work with one cell to six cells, which allows it to support several battery chemistry types with different battery regulation voltage. Narrow voltage DC, or NVDC, power path management brings the best of both worlds by optimizing charging thermals and ensuring that the system can power on with a low battery. NVDC power path management is a common method that provides several benefits. The system can instantly power on with a low battery voltage, and the system voltage tracks the battery voltage to reduce the charging thermals and allow for a lower voltage system design, since it does not need to tolerate the external input voltage. In addition, the battery can supplement the system when the input power is low and the system can be fully disconnected from the battery for cases such as shipping mode, overcurrent protection, or under voltage protection. The MP2733 is a highly integrated switch mode battery charger for single-cell lithium-ion and lithium-polymer batteries. Its NVDC power path management makes it well-suited for tablets, wireless cameras, 
tablets, smartphones, and portable devices. USB on the go or OTG revolutionizes how devices interact, allowing them to charge many devices thanks to the bidirectional power flow of USB Type-C USB OTG. Also known as USB Type-C source mode, is not a new feature to USBs, but it was not common before the USB Type-C connector was introduced. USB OTG allows for bidirectional power from a portable battery-powered device, which enables a device, for example, a power bank, to charge other connected devices or accessories. Previously, older micro USB specifications required a special cable to take advantage of OTG, which increased costs and inhibited product interoperability. With the USB Type-C standard, USB OTG has become a much more popular feature, as it can be implemented with the same cable and connector with minimal additional cost. Today, many switching charger ICs with inductive topologies support USB OTG operation. This feature can be found in many common products, such as notebook computers, smartphones, and power banks. The MP2722 is a high-efficiency buck charger that integrates the required functionality of USB Type-C source mode and dual-roll power mode. In addition to determining the ideal battery charger topology, designers must also consider a device's safety features and how those features are relevant to the overall solution. A watchdog timer ensures that the charger operates within safe parameters, resetting the system if any anomaly is detected. The main purpose of a watchdog timer in a configurable charger IC is to safely handle instances during which the system's MCU freezes or stops responding. If the MCU begins acting erratically or stops functioning altogether, it can potentially cause incorrect values to be written to the charger IC, which could affect battery safety during charging. Equally important is battery temperature monitoring. A critical safety requirement for a charger IC is the ability to monitor the battery's temperature during charging and control the charge current and or voltage when the temperature is outside of a specified range. Adhering to JTA standards, chargers can adjust charging profiles based on battery temperature, ensuring optimal safety and longevity. Selecting the right battery charger involves understanding your device's power needs, the intricacies of charger topologies, and crucial safety features. MPS's battery charger solutions cover a wide range of high-performance ICs that can complement any battery-powered application from single-cell chargers to battery chargers with two-series cells or more than three-series cell chargers. To learn more about these solutions or our other battery management products, visit monolithicpower.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest on our innovative new products.